DNA profiling is the new advanced method to identify an individual from small sequences of their genome. This is the core of DNA forensic analysis. Polymerase chain reaction is a technique which allows the replication of DNA in a test tube. For the characteristic of the enzyme polymerase, specific primers must be synthesized in the lab to start up the polymerization of the fragment of interest. Consequently, they must be long enough to bind only once on each strand at the end of the sequence of interest in the direction in which the polymerase moves. In this way, the sequences upstream in the primers are excluded from replication. Scientists can replicate an entire molecule of DNA or a single fragment, producing multiple copies of the original sequence of interest. There are many different applications for PCR. It can be used to classify species, study genetic diseases, carry out food analysis, or perform DNA tests in forensic science, like DNA fingerprinting or profiling. The master mix is the solution where the replication for the original sample takes place. It must contain the original double-stranded DNA sample to be replicated, a particular type of DNA polymerase, called the TAC polymerase, which can resist high temperatures, a great amount of artificially synthesized primers, one type for each strand, a great amount of the four types of nucleotides needed to extend the primers, a reaction buffer, magnesium chloride and water. A cycle of PCR involves three stages. First, raising the temperature, the original double-strand DNA denaturates and the breaking of the hydrogen bonds between the strands leads to the formation of two single-stranded DNA molecules. Then, lowering the temperature, each primer spays to its complementary specific site, causing the annealing of primers. Finally, raising the temperature again, the enzyme polymerase elongates the primer using the nucleotides present in the master mix. The machine used for this process is called thermocycler. The thermocycler can be programmed to repeat the cycle as many times as needed. Usually the cycle is repeated about 35 to 40 cycles. This process is called amplification of the sequence. PCR is used in DNA profiling in order to isolate and amplify the sequences of DNA to be examined in investigation cases. Scientists only examine a small percentage of DNA because all individuals share the most part of the human genome. The sequences showing variation are called loci, while each variation of a locus is called an allele. Each individual has two alleles for any single locus, one inherited from the mother and one from the father. After these loci have been isolated, alleles from single individuals have to be compared using techniques like electrophoresis. To this purpose, scientists use the so-called allele ladder, a side standard or marker showing all the possible values for a locus in the whole population. They can compare the results of the sample they analyze with the correspondent allele ladder to find out matches. For example, in a murder case, scientists compare the allele ladder of a locus with the alleles found in different DNAs involved in a crime. The first column of the figure is the allele ladder, showing all the possible allele values for a locus. The other columns show the allele values in all the individuals involved in the crime. The two values at the bottom of each column represent the two alleles in each individual's DNA. As you can see, there is a match between the DNA found on the crime scene and suspect B. This match will lead to further investigation.